I'm recording this phone call. Right. Because <laughs> I need sound for my movie that I'm doing with the, uh, all the older, all that work I did over the last 10 years with the older nudes. Yeah. And so I'm collecting, oh, just kind of all kinds of different soundtracks to go with it. So I was just here recording off my saved messages, and you called, which is perfect. Because <laughs> I wanted some some stuff from you about your birthday. Oh, I'll be darned. Well, you can quit recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. You're not. Next message. Mommy, I'm going to be home and, um, and, um, um, when, if you're going to go to the store, can you buy yeast? Okay? Um, um, I love you. Call again. If you need assistance, dial your operator. Please hang up now. This is a recording. Please hang up and try your call again. If you need assistance, dial your operator. Please hang up now. This is a recording. Next message. Hey. I'm not a doll brain. I don't appreciate that crap. How am I supposed to know you put it in a brown paper envelope? You know? Get up earlier. I don't appreciate being called stupid, Jackie. I really don't. End of message. To erase this message, press 7. To save it in the archive, message return to archives. Hello, Steve? Yes. Yeah. Dr. Hayes, hi. As I, I'm laying there for what to do and wind knocked out of me, all of a sudden here comes another guy in on top of me. And he's moaning and groaning and blood's running out of him down onto me. And and, uh, and he's saying, Mama, Mama, help me, help me. 
later on, after things quieted down, uh, I finally got myself out from underneath him because he had died. And uh, when I got up where I could see him, the side of his head was peeled away. A piece of shrapnel to hit it and just cleaned the skull off, and his brains were hanging out. So it uh, shook you up a little bit, I, I'll tell you. Okay. My first question is, uh, you've never told me what you think about what I do, those pictures of the elderly, the nude elderly figure models. Um, at first, I was back, you might say. But then after I've seen them and what you're doing totally, your entire uh, you know, perspective, uh, I think it's great. I think you're doing real well. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, but what do you think's great about it? Just what you've done on your own. You come out of high school, just had to be a nurse. You remember? Yeah. So you had to be a nurse. So you went to nursing school. And then I recall, you want me to talk about this kind of stuff? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Then I recall you coming home one day, one weekend, and saying, uh, that's a fruit school. You want to quit uh, at Jewish Hospital School of Nursing. And I said, well, Jackie, that's fine. If you want to quit, great. About those pictures. What do you think of those? The pictures? The, big, the elderly nudes. The elderly nudes. Uh, I think they're fine. I, I can't say, you know, it really sends me. Uh, uh, not being an, uh, an art critic, but I think it's a good, it's something different in the art world. It opens some doors and eyes that uh, it should. Uh, it hasn't been done before. Everybody's looking at the young, youthful bodies and faces and all that uh, sort of thing. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. I am recording this phone call for my Well, I'm recording this phone call for my movie. Um, yeah. What do you want to know? Um well, I just wanted to talk about my experience that I had last week again. Oh, sure. <laughs> so, can you describe the distorted image of Bapa's face hovering sort of right above my hips. Um, How big was it? It was large. It was like probably the size of my torso. Wow. It was definitely... Yeah, was it see-through or was it solid? Uh, it was solid, but like when I sat up and started screaming, it like 
began to move. And when it, uh, it started moving towards me, well, it started moving towards me, but more of a diagonal towards, like, the side of my bed. Because it, when it was moving towards me, it um, left a trail uh-huh. behind it. Um, what color? It was, like, skin color. It was, like, where its eyes were were the color of its eyes, and where its mouth were were the color of its mouth. Yeah. What color was its eyes? Uh, I think kind of green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you had green eyes? Oh. Green brown eyes, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> woof. What was that story? I'm not going to tell you because you're keeping it. Well, I want to hear it because it'll be good to have on tape. I don't... Well, nobody will know. Okay. I won't use her name. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Mom, um, hi, I was wondering when you were come... I was wondering when... I was wondering when you were going to come home, um, so I was just wondering, could you call back as soon as you can? Who six eight zero one? I guess your mom told you I'm getting more chemo, but I'm actually doing much better with the drugs I'm taking this time. The deal is that there are signs that the cancer in my pelvis is back. It's not a tumor, just some cells and fluid. I think the chemo will stop them, maybe even eliminate them for a while. As I said, 
the side effects are much better. Next message. Hello, mommy. Um, this is Lily. Uh, I'm at home going to school, and it is Friday, so I just wanted to talk to you. But um, talk talk to you later. Bye. End of message. To erase this message, press seven. There are people and I'm not sure um, well I can understand where you're I'm not sure what I want to say but you know, I can appreciate and understand the dislike that you have because of, of what you've done um, Is there any respect there for them as I don't in any way or is it I'd be stretching a point if I said so for me. Have you ever done anything with that footage that you that interview that you took with him? I just took something I, I needed to do. This uh, terror, the feeling of terror, uh, you can't talk to the guy next to you and say, man, I'm scared shitless, you know, or I'm going to crap my pants here or something. <laughs> you just, you know, some way you're just going to do that. One of the kindest, gentlest, easygoing persons on earth. Loving, Virtually everything was okay with him. I mean, he was very, very accepting and kind-hearted. Um, and he just loved people. He loved life. Yeah. And he never talked about the war, ever. That interview was the only time. Wow. He ever, ever talked about the war, his experience in the war. Well, I've talked about it better more with you than I have in years <laughs> with anybody, uh -huh. you know, really. But Rather than what got me going. It's but, very sharp in your mind. Oh. You know, it's very, I mean, that experience is You'll sharp. never forget it. You'll never, that's you'll, you'll never will forget it. Never. Uh, he would have these terror, these nightmares that would be just screaming out, you know, wake me up from my sleep. And I remember that through high school. But he never talked about it. And what Mimi's has had a story of him choking her one night. And she had a hold of his arms and screaming, Jack, 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 wake up, wake up. But he was, you know, in his dream and, you know, in the war. Yeah.
Okay, I'm gonna stop recording.